Archaeological discoveries that will blow your mind Archaeologists have helped us to understand the lives of our ancestors and in many cases have added to our knowledge of what it is to be human And they've also added to our sense of wonder at these sometimes weird sometimes gruesome and occasionally amusing habits of our predecessors Whether it's thousands of life-size statues of Chinese soldiers hobbit like humanoids or these shocking mummified child sacrifices of the Aztecs Archaeology seldom ceases to amaze and surprise Piri Reis map German Gustav Adolf Diesmann discovered the Piri Reis map in 1929 It was secreted in a dusty bundle of papers in the library of Topkapi Palace in Istanbul, Turkey The Turkish admiral and cartographer Piri Reis created the map in 1513 This 16th century map is remarkable because it's the only one we know of from that century that gives a reasonably accurate depiction of the relative positions of South America and Africa the Mount Owen Moa foot this peculiar looking foot belonged to an upland Moa a New Zealand bird that became extinct in about 1500 it was a flightless bird that stood about three feet tall and could weigh up to 70 pounds larger Moa species could be as tall as 12 feet and weigh more than 500 pounds it only took the Polynesian a couple of hundred years from their arrival in New Zealand in about 1300 to wipe out these birds unluckily for the Moas it seems they were good to eat Vampire graves Professor Nikolai Okarov apparently nicknamed Bulgaria's Indiana Jones discovered a remarkable set of human remains in the Thracian city of Perperikon Perperikon which dates back around some 7,000 years is located in the south of modern Bulgaria What's remarkable about this male skeleton dating from medieval times is the stake driven through its heart vampire style consequently Professor Okarov told the Daily Telegraph that he was in no doubt this was an anti-vampire ritual Alien skulls Archaeologists discovered the skeleton of a boy aged between 18 months and two years at a site in Crimea The site is Samaritan from a civilization that lasted for some 900 years from the 5th century BC What was remarkable about the remains was the bizarre elongation of the skull giving it an alien appearance in fact, this was a common Samaritan custom and suggests that this boy buried in the second century AD was destined to be a warrior The Samaritans apparently elongated the skull by artificial means in the belief that it would encourage warrior like qualities Dead Roman babies a Roman villa in countryside near River Thames in England yielded a gruesome find the bones of no less than 97 infants all of whom died just before or just after birth One theory posits that there may have been a brothel at the site and the dead babies were unwanted pregnancies or births that were subjected to infanticide Some researchers disagree about the brothel theory suggesting instead that this was a Roman method of routine family planning Otzi the Iceman Otzi the Iceman's astonishingly well-preserved body was found on the icy slopes of the Alps near the border between Australia and Italy Tourists stumbled across his body at an altitude of more than 10,000 feet at first They thought the grizzly find was a modern-day hikers corpse But in fact Otzi had died between 5400 and 5700 years ago making him the oldest naturally mummified corpse ever found in Europe Ness of Brodger Archaeologists have discovered that the remote Orkney Islands and archipelago about 10 miles north of the Scottish mainland Housed a thriving center of Neolithic civilization They've discovered a variety of intriguing sites featuring stone-built structures one of the most fascinating is the Ness of Brodger Digging continues at the site parts of which date back to 3300 BC The purpose of these sophisticated buildings at the Ness of Brodger may have been a temple or cathedral Chariots of Zhao Excavations at the city of Luyang in central China uncovered an extraordinary grave dating back some 2800 years to the period of the Zhao dynasty The find included four pits each with complete wooden chariots and the remains of the horses that would have pulled them Other finds at the site included bronze and ceramic artifacts and it's believed that the grave would have held a middle-ranking government official Inca child mummies these three bizarre mummies known as the children of Yuyayako were discovered by a team of archaeologists in 1999 
The frozen mummified children were located near the 22,110 foot summit of the Uyayaco mountain which lies on the Chile Argentina border in the Andes the children were ritually sacrificed by the Incas in about 1500 It's believed they would have been drugged and left to perish in the freezing temperatures of the high Andes Plain of jars the plain of jars is a mysterious archaeological site in Laos located on the Zheng Kong Plateau about 90 jar locations have been documented with each site including anywhere from 100 of these large stone vessels set into the ground it's been theorized that the jars which date back some 2,500 years may have been used in burial ceremonies with bodies being left to decompose in them before a later cremation however there's still a high degree of uncertainty over the precise purpose of these amazing artifacts the headless Vikings of Dorset road workers discovered a mass grave in 2009 while they were working near the town of Weymouth in Dorset England Archaeologists examined this gruesome find and discovered that there were 51 male skeletons piled in a grave and that each one had been beheaded This obvious evidence of a massacre turned out to involve Viking warriors who had been killed by Anglo-Saxons about a thousand years ago The screaming mummy it was in 1886 that Gaston Mospero Egyptian antiquity service boss made this horrifying discovery of a mummy that appears to be screaming in a death agony this mummified man who died more than 3,000 years ago was found near the Valley of the Kings and this was one of a group of 40 mummies that had been discovered together contemporary investigations using modern forensic techniques have suggested that the mummy may be Prince Pentewer who was involved in a plot to kill his father Pharaoh Ramses the third so Pentewer may have been executed by poisoning explaining the death rictus human hand pits Archaeologists found a stash of severed human hands in four pits at the ancient Egyptian city of Avaris There were 16 of the skeletal hands all right hands dating back some 3600 years at the time a people called the Hykos Occupied this part of Egypt. It's believed that soldiers presented the hands of enemies to a leader the leader would have rewarded the soldiers with gold tunnels of Bai. Bai overlooks the Bay of Naples in Italy and it was a favored seaside spot and spa 2,000 years ago in Roman times in the 1950s an Italian archaeologist Amadeo Maori discovered the entrance to a lost cave hidden beneath a vineyard a narrow passageway led into the rocky hillside other researchers then uncovered a network of tunnels which led to a warm underground steam heavy with sulfur the purpose of this complex of underground passages remains a mystery to this day Nazca lines the intriguing Nazca lines best seen from the air are in the Nazca desert of southern Peru Experts believe these massive groundworks up to 1200 feet long were created over a thousand year period between 500 BC and 500 AD as well as geometric patterns the works include representations of birds monkeys llamas and Jaguars Researchers have not found a conclusive explanation of the purpose of the lines But theories include the idea that they were made to be seen by the gods in the sky and that they are related to astronomy Gobleki Tepe this ancient site in southeastern Turkey dates back some 11,000 years and it features some stunning stone megaliths the largest of these are 20 feet tall and weigh as much as 20 tons and many of the stone columns featured sophisticated carvings of scorpions spiders and lions one of the architects who played a major role in excavating the site Klaus Schmidt was in no doubt about its purpose believing that it was the first human built holy place Antikythera mechanism this truly amazing ancient Greek artifact some 2,000 years old can fairly lay claim to be the world's first analog computer it's actually an astronomical and calendar instrument and it was found in a shipwreck in 1902 this highly sophisticated mechanism includes 37 gears which would have allowed it to follow the cycles of the moon and Sun the science underpinning the mechanism was lost and nothing as advanced was made again until the 14th century terracotta army the terracotta army is a massive collection of astonishingly lifelike and life-size statues of Chinese soldiers from the army of China's first Emperor Qin Shi Huang the army was interred with the Emperor when he died more than 2,000 years ago 
As well as some 8,000 soldiers, there are 130 chariots and 670 horses. Not all the buried statues were soldiers with other figures including musicians, acrobats and strongmen. Homo floresiensis, the hobbit. Bone specimens of Homo floresiensis, a humanoid species dating as far back as 190,000 years ago, were discovered on the Indonesian island of Flores in 2003. Reconstruction of the species showed that they were about 3 feet 6 inches tall, chinless and tiny brained. And these features led to Homo floresiensis being nicknamed hobbits. However, despite their diminutive size, it seems they were able to take on formidable animals such as elephants and Komodo dragons. Copper Dead Sea Scroll The obvious difference between this Dead Sea Scroll and others is that it is engraved on a copper plate instead of being written on papyrus or parchment. In fact, this scroll is also unique in that it documents the sites of hidden treasure, gold and silver. Discovered in 1952 in a cave in the Qumran archaeological site on the West Bank, the scroll is about 2,000 years old. Share this video of awesome finds with your friends below.